to the channel and welcome to week two. Now, week one, we went through and we lost four pounds, which was very, very successful. And you know, if you look at the last video, I wasn't eating mega over, but managed to lose quite a chunk of weight, which was brilliant and you know, perfectly happy with that. So, week two. We're talking like it's the end of week two, it's a bit of a review. I know that week one was kind of leading up to what we're doing, and then actually looking at the results. So, what we're going to do is just look at the results on this video. Uh, the only I would say week two was a breeze, didn't feel hungry at all, just went through it, you know, it, it was fine. Uh, I was trying to incorporate a bit more walking. And of course, being in a situation where you probably have a bit more fruit to concentrate, look a bit more on vegetables, even though I was being good, I was having the soups and things. The old mare soup, which would obviously contain the, the vegetables that you need if you have a day. Uh, but what I found is that on week two, things like, you know, the plan encourages you to have water, drink water on a regular basis. Uh, a lot of people overweight, including myself, kind of dismiss water, you know, you're having tea, you're having coffee, or you might be having gin or you know, some form of alcoholic drink at night, or you might be drinking over the weekend, but during the week you just either not drinking or you just have your teas and coffees again. And we really, really do uh, forget the importance of water. And whilst finding on week two, is by having water on a regular basis, which is one of the habits in the book, is that it kind of, uh, shall we say, softens certain areas and you go to the toilet a little bit more. But of course, you naturally go to the toilet a little bit more because if you're losing weight, the fat's got to go somewhere. And unfortunately, the toilet is where it goes. So if you're used to going to the toilet so twice a day or a poo or a number two, as we used to say when we was kids, then you probably go more frequently than that. And likewise, you'll urinate more. Uh, because you, you drink in water and basically it gets rid of the toxins and the excess fat. So there we go. So that's, that was a bit gross for week two. Uh, but uh, that was the only problem is just going to the loo a bit more than what you normally would do. Right, so for what we have to do now for week two is go back to our spreadsheets. Go back to the £2 line. And it tells us that our current weight is £269. So if we go back to the BMR spreadsheet, we have to put in, it was £273, pounds, we're going to put in £9. Pounds. And what that does is recalculate the number of calories. But now we drop to 74 calories as our target weight. And obviously we're still obese. You know, we will be obese for quite some time, or I will be. But the main thing is we are now looking at uh, 1,784 calories per day so it's actually reduced because we lost 4 pounds in weight so now we have the targets what we can do is have a look to see what we actually did with the food and once again at Monday the is that still went for white bread just an habit and a fried egg and baked beans full portion of baked beans and if that's it can you know, uh, if you look at every can and a can of size per half portion, well, nobody does put in half a tin of baked beans and then leaves the other half of the fridge. You forget about it. Most people just throw the entire can in. Of course, the exception is if you cook two, you probably share a can, but I'm going for it. You've got a can of baked beans, you're going to use it all. That's what I did. Then for dinner, because once again, baked beans might fill in. So far, going towards dinner, I just had a banana. Yes, here comes the fruit and a packet of ready salted crisps. And I kind of went really, really wrong in the afternoon. I just thought, you know, my brain's going, well, you need to look a bit of fruit, you need something different. I was spotted a picnic bar, which is something that I've not seen since my childhood. I thought it was fantastic. We'll have one of those. So I'll get one of those in the afternoon. It's good. The Alcon Center is 230 calories just for a chocolate. It's not a great idea, but a whole we've included chocolate as well today. And then, but he, I must have been rushed around again, so I went for another slice of bread and kind of dipped it into the naked noodle Singapore curry, curry pot, uh, which are not too bad, so they're coming at 200 calories. 
and finally thought, even this snack, just went, I was probably getting really, really fed up with gin. So I decided to have a couple of cans of Guinness. Problem is, if you're drinking gin with a diet tonic water, probably look at about 50 calories per drink. For a can of Guinness, it's 158 calories. And of course, the result of that is that I took 1,953 calories in that day. So going for things like Guinness and you know, draft meals, it's far harder to control the uh, calorie count on a daily basis. So, not the best of days, I'm going over. However, Tuesday comes along, and um, breakfast again, had tomato and red pepper soup. So this is one of the days that we all eat it. We want breakfast, we know we should have breakfast, we can't have it. So I've gone here for like a cup of soup, tomato, catch it, chuck it in there, put water in. It's not the best of foods, but it's something that's going to still get the metabolism running. Uh, you know, it's better than having nothing at all. So I'll skip breakfast in effect, but I didn't do it, I just had an instant soup. And then for dinner, we had a beef stew. We have served with potatoes. A uh, little bit of veg in there. So once again, you know, not salads or anything like that. For afternoon snacks, it's the return of the good old uh, crisps, the cheese and onion crisps. Followed by vegetable soup, which is the normal one. It's previous from work again, about 52 calories. Great. Then for dinner, it was tuna salad from Subway, which actually came in at 290 calories. During the evening, it was a case of red wine time. Bocola of Echoes falls red. But it's not bad because it's a Subway. A bottle of red wine. That came in amazingly at 1,000. So, the Wednesday I think I went to some sort of convention or something like that, so I went to home, I went near the office, and breakfast got a no-no, and whilst at this convention they had some like french fries sort of thing, just a few, so that was kind of a late breakfast, it's, it's absolutely appalling, it? you're trying to lose weight and it's like, oh well we'll go and get some french fries, it's convenient food, uh, I'm conscious I need something, there's nothing else around, so we'll just have some of those, so potato french fries for our kind of 11 o'clock-ish breakfast. Then of course for lunch, it was the tuna sub bacon. Uh, he wrote in a boat, so it's just nice and convenient. And in the afternoon, I managed to get a carrot and coriander soup, which was homemade, which is nice in party five a day. Well, by dinner, I kind of went to look a bit late for dinner, so it's a packet of flame grilled steak crisps. Uh, once again, I love the crisps, so you know, I'm not feeling deprived. I've got the crisps and stuff like that, chips in the morning, crisps in the afternoon. And I also went to get the liver bacon and mash ready made meal from Asda of all places. I kind of thought at this point I've kind of messed up the day with having the chips and all that liver's quite healthy. It's very any any form of awful uh, food is very low in calories so I kind of must have thought of this as being a bit of a saviour. Uh, and that's what he had for the evening meals. And then in the evening being you know with me me mission for the week is to have more fruit. I went back to bananas so I had one banana and then some gin back to the gym because obviously it's a lot less calories than what it would be if you draft beers. And that gave me a grand sort of for Wednesday of 1,571 calories, which once again, considering it's a subway, treats, not bad at all. But Thursday I wanted to try and, you know, uh, kind of get back into the swing of things. There's big distractions, you're out of your current routine. So Thursday was a typical Thursday, so we're back in the office. So for breakfast, we're back on black pudding, mushrooms, Red tomatoes and scrambled egg, which is almost a standard breakfast. Uh, and for dinner, it was case it's curry day. You go and have curry, which is half and half. It's half chips, half rice for the curry. Great way of keeping the carbs down to a degree. Um, leek and potato soup. That for me is the big, that for me has been the biggest dinner at 770 calories. After that afternoon snack, late on, but it was a late tea that day, probably about five o'clock. Packet of cheese and onion crisps. No surprise. And in the evening, it was stuffed peppers. So what I've gone and done is got some red peppers, put a sausage, fried it up kind of thing, chopped it up so it fits into the pepper, put a little bit of cheese on top. Uh, so I didn't have the cheese, I had the mushroom. I will try the cheese. So stuffed pepper, basically sausage, mushroom, stuffed pepper. And that was for tea. And then a couple of gins again, because we want to prove that you can lose weight by drinking and stuff like that. 1,713 calories on that day. Once again, under the limit. 
So, and then we hit Friday, I ate the weekends like I said in the last video, so on Friday I skipped breakfast completely. Lunch came along and it was a case of cheese and onion pasta with beans, which was probably the obvious thing I could find at the time. Uh, mostly 554 calories. And in the afternoon you suddenly started feeling, you know, late afternoon, got home, you started feeling peckish, so it was a case of uh, bread, quite a bit of bread, about three slices of bread, that toasted with an egg, fried egg. And more of a standard sort of meal that you'd have. Or tea time, it was back to the naked noodle Chinese, uh, chow, 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 <laughs> Chinese chow mein naked noodle, which was good. That sort of thing. It was really convenient. And then a couple of gins at night. In fact, quite a few gins at night. But it's, it's Friday night. It was really cool for that day. Which for Friday night is not too bad. Not been deprived at all. I think they were quite good. Got the 243 calories for breakfast, which was basically a BLT, so it's two slices of bread with lettuce and tomatoes and slices of bacon. Not had a BLT for a long, long time. Followed by dinner, which was a fillet of fish in a batter, which was oven baked. And actually, fried chips was actually made from fresh potato with a spoonful of oil, which is great. You can have a 100 gram serving for 50. Calories, so you're having chips, it's a great treat, so it's fish and chips for your dinner. But you're not packing in the calories because using the active fry. Didn't have any afternoon snack on that day. Then at night, pay yourself, you know, got the night treat, which turned out to be an Olin's meat and potato pie and mashed potato. Well, they said to put a bit of gravy on, but gravy is about 20 calories. Instant stuff. Then in the evening, of course, for all shred. That came to 1,804 calories, which, you know, considering it included a bottle of wine, is quite good. Then, Sunday, for breakfast, it was a bacon butter, so bacon on toast, two pieces of bacon on toast, followed by broccoli and Stilton cup of soup. Went towards the evening meal, we decided it was KFC night, so we had KFC gravy, two chicken, Busy chicken, gravy, and regular fries. But you know, we've already been somewhere this week, and now we're at KFC. We're not depriving. And a bit more wine in the evening. So, uh, you know, soup, bacon, butter, KFC in the afternoon, bit of wine in the evening. 1,826. If you think about it, every time that you treat yourself to something like KFC, chips, on those days it's going to go up. And probably go above the limit, so that's 1826 for 1784. But it's only 40 50 calories over, so by putting the extra effort in, which I wasn't doing really on week one, this go for is that you know, and still get very close to the target. That's all the food that we had that week. Treats again, not no salad, I don't think. Made the effort with the bananas, but only one a day. Uh, I want to have too many bananas, watch the fruit and veg banana, rebuttal if you like. Or, uh, this is brand on bananas. Uh, yep, the other one's fine. And there we go. So, the next thing was walking. So, the previous week, week one, I think, managed to successfully, managed to successfully do three days uh, walking, which was beyond 10,000 steps. Two days where it was about 8,000 steps, and then a lazy weekend, really, where it was about 6,000 steps. So, I wanted to improve that. This week, Monday, I failed. I think it was literally. 50 step shot and I was gutted but you know I use the watch the, you always say it on me and that tells you if you succeeded or failed and that just said failed <laughs> could argue it's a bit harsh but there you go and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday I managed to succeed the 10,000 steps which is really really good and Saturday and Sunday once again you at the weekend you're pretty much tired and you've got your chores around the house and stuff like that which resulted into those two Days fail. But so we've got four days and really five days for the sake of 50 steps. There's fail. Which is better than the previous week where it was three days successful. Well, now we get back to the point what we've all been waiting for, which is you know, it's Monday, it's the same time, it's the same calls, it's time to have a way. So, how did we do? Uh, once again, you've got to remember is that 
the idea of the book is that you don't change eating habits, you don't feel deprived. I uh, use the 17 habits around your daily lifestyle, which then should allow you to lose weight in this situation. Uh, by losing weight, you're going to help with controlling diabetes. If you're using Bran vs. Bran, you can look for the low sugar alternatives as well as the low calorie alternatives. Obviously, you can also put the saturated fat on Bran vs. Bran and go for better product types, which is what we've been doing. But we've also been having treats at KFC and Subway. So most people at this point, oh don't forget the chips, we had the chips from the uh, tension place and we also had chips with fish. We're absolutely not deprived whatsoever. Going back to the spreadsheet. And the scales that never lie, these don't cut the digital. Comes in at £265. Which from £269 is once again a £4 loss. And thinking about the £2 line, this is telling you what it should be. So for week one, we should have been at £271. Week two, we should have been £269, which we was. But week three, we should have been £267. Actually, £65. So looking at the line, D now is that we're building up this nicely. All in cover is that we're actually at well under our line, which anywhere under this line is very brilliant. That's the end of week two, so this is zero week one. That week one, week zero into week one, on week two. Uh, we do this on Monday, so this is the start weight in effect for week three. 2.7 kilograms it's the uh this sort of it is only shown in kilograms but it's the equivalent weight in the poundage and obviously we lost a little bit of weight the bmi drops from 45.1 from about 45.4 what we're interested in is fat that has gone from 40.4 kilograms 40.2 so obviously we've burned some fat off muscle we put on a little bit of muscle with all the extra walking and stuff I did a couple of extra days so the muscle's gone up. Now like I was saying before I was starting to have problems with diarrhea and stuff because you're having water, excessive water, and the water basically is risen from 47.2 to 47.3. Which basically means that you're having a regular supply of water but you're not drinking water throughout the day. Now visceral fat is interesting because this is the fat which actually on the internal organs and that was 35. That's now dropped 34.5. Bone mass will also drop because you lose weight. You lose, in effect, your body will regenerate the skeleton and it will also regenerate the size of the organs. So, as it does the skeleton, it drops from 39.79 to 3.41. And of course, because you're carrying less weight, your body's relaxing a little bit more. It doesn't work, have to work as hard, so the metabolism comes down. 21.52 throw that into a graphical format and what we see is that there's quite a drop in weight from week 1 to week 2 uh, the BMI is equally dropped the metabolism is dropped or well, these three, first three basically look exactly the same what we'd expect the water consumption is increased, which is good because one of the habits is to take more water, so that's working. The muscles increased marginally. Looks a lot bigger on the graph, but once again, if we get more muscle, that's going to help with taking the fat off. The bone mass is reduced, again smaller. Fine. But interestingly, that the scales can pick up after a week how quickly the more mass, uh, the bone mass is reduced them. Which may, might go back to you, Dr. Shetty saying it writes the, uh, the plus stream, etc. But these are the two interesting ones. So the fat has dropped quite dramatically at that point, which is visual fat. And then internal fat dropped slightly more. You know, with using walking rather than every exercise, it's interesting how the body's responded by attacking the fat around the organs. Don't forget it's week two, so I still would have been having the liver tonic, but I didn't have the stomach tonic whatsoever in this week. So this little graph really is trying to show proportion. Week one to week two, 
normal fat in blue versus visceral fat and we can see the visceral fat there is dipped right down compared to the normal fat that was lost so I would say and this is kind of instead of the blood test but I would actually say that is quite a interesting result and with the skeleton or the bone mass reducing the visual fat reducing quicker than the actual fat So, there we have it, and that's the end of week two. I haven't felt deprived or anything. I've probably need to maintain the walk, and at least it should have been seven times this week. Last week it should have been seven times, and managed three, probably back issues, and been extremely busy. This time I did fine, so I got better. Uh, but, you know, I still exceeded the number of calories three times out of seven. But once again, having a £4 weight loss on the second week, Going to Subway, having treats, going to KFC, having chips. It shows that the 17 habits really, really work really well. And the fact that the visceral fat is coming down a lot faster than the actual fat. You know, or at least, you might say it's not, at least more visual fat coming off. But, you know, it's a great thing. It's, I've not seen any plants which can do that. The only thing what this is doing is to encourage you to improve your lifestyle. And it's great. But still there we go, so that was week two. Next time we're going to have week three, and week three does introduce what we call the treat day. We'll go into that, so it'll look a bit different. Uh, and we'll see how, how we do, how much we lose next time. Well, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and please, please, please put comments in the bottom where this can become other videos. If you bought the book or you're just watching this out of curiosity and you've got any questions, happy to answer them. Uh, I think, you know, all oh, this is just a little bit too much. How can you lose weight by having so many standard foods? Then let me know. Um, certainly those sort of comments are going to really, really, really encourage me to actually make more of these videos. Anyway, right, so that's week two done. Next week we're going into week three. Uh, Yep, we've got week three coming up, and we'll see what happens then. Well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. If you have enjoyed this video, then please provide your support by liking this video and subscribing to this YouTube channel. If you are watching on Facebook, then please like and share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thank you for viewing.